Hello, hello, this is Jennifer Sinceri, and I am a Stamping Up Independent Demonstrator. It is December 17th, Friday night, and tonight I join you to make some winter-themed cards. I'm actually done with my Christmas cards, and I'm assuming most of you are done with your Christmas cards. Probably have sent them already. Or you've already made your cards and so I thought you know I'm not quite ready to move on to Valentine's Day but I'm done making Christmas cards so how about some winter themed cards that could be used for birthday cards or encouragement cards you know once Christmas passes and people um, get their Christmas cards in the mail sometimes there can be a lull and I think that December I'm is full of festivities and gathering but Christmas isn't always a easy time for everyone it can be a very difficult time and then rolls in January and so winter can kind of seem a little um, difficult for some people and I thought you know we need to send some cards in January and February to just help encourage people and let them know that we love them and that we're here and we're thinking of them, not just during Christmas time. So tonight I'm going to use an oldie but goodie. This is called Snowman Season, and it is in our annual catalog, I believe. I believe we have a Christmas section in our annual catalog. I didn't put post-it notes in my catalog, so forgive me. I usually mark the spots so I can show you where they are. So I'm just going to flip through and find it really quickly. There it is. So in the annual catalog, we have a little Christmas section. It starts on page 88. And the stamp set that I'm actually going to use this evening is on page 93. It's called Snowman Season. It sells for $18. It has 12 photopolymer stamps. It's been around for a while. It actually had a stamp set that was out prior to this one that coordinates with it. That is retired now. It's called Spirited Snowman. Um, you might be able to find this on eBay or one of the Stampin' Up! retired sites that we, we see on Facebook. So this is a, a stamp set that coordinates with this one, but you can't get this one anymore. It's, it's gone. It's retired. Some of you might have it still. So we're going to play with this. I've also pulled, um, where did it go? I've also pulled a couple other items. I pulled Snowflake Wishes, and I have used some of the dies that go with it, and we might use some of the snowflakes for the inside of our cards. And because these are not going to be Christmas cards, they're going to be encouragement, thinking of you, birthday. I pulled a, a set that had a lot of sentiments on it. This is called Shaded Summer, and it is in our annual catalog also. But it has a birthday stamp. It has hello you, a thank you, and then love you friend. So I thought this would be great for just, hey, I'm thinking of you. I just wanted to encourage you type cards. So I'm using the sentiments. I love the font on this set. All right. So this is also in the annual catalog. You can pull out any of your stamp sets that you already have that have some great basic sentiments that you could use. All right. And then the other thing that I wanted to utilize was I'm using some designer series paper but it's not Christmas paper. I, I'm done with Christmas uh, making for cards, and I wanted to pull some paper that could be wintry, but doesn't look like Christmas. So I've actually pulled um, the blue wintry sheet of paper here from Beauty of the Earth. I'll show it to you. I've pulled one of the background pieces here from our hand-penned designer series paper. And I've also pulled some of the balmy blue sh um, sheets from our You're a Peach Designer Series paper. 
So those are some of the papers that I've pulled tonight. I'm working with uh, Calypso Coral. No, I'm sorry. Coastal Cabana. I don't know where that came from. Coastal Cabana, Balmy Blue, Night of Navy. And I even pulled in some Fresh Freesia tonight. Okay, so lots of blues, some purples. Okay. And then I pulled a few embossing folders. So let's share those with you. I used the Evergreen Forest 3D embossing folder. So it's just trees. And I also pulled, you could pull snowflakes if you wanted to, the Wintry 3D. There's also pine boughs to that one. You could use those. Really, any basic embossing folder would work. I'm actually, on one of these, I've used the new gingham embossing folder that's coming out to customers um, January 4th. All right, and then one other embossing folder I have to show you that I used is the Marius Frames Hybrid embossing folder. So I've used that tonight also. And that is in our mini holiday catalog. This is expiring very, very soon. Many items have already sold out and you can't get them. A lot of the designer series paper is sold out already. Okay, let's get started. So let me show you those designer series paper um, sheets that I mentioned to you. All right. So this was our hand penned and I'm using the back side. So this is soft succulent. And then we've got our balmy blue here. Both of these sheets you can find in the You're a Peach uh, designer series paper. You'll see flowers and peaches on one side, but we're going to use the blue side. All right, and then here is that lovely wintry forest, and this is from Beauty of the Earth. All right, some greenery on one side, but we're going to use this side. Okay, and I think I'm going to make mm, three to four cards with you tonight. Yep, and one is a fancy fold. So let's get started. Okay, I've already cut out some of those fun snowflake dies that I mentioned that coordinate with our snowflake wishes. Okay, so I've cut out three shapes, three sizes, I should say. And I've got my card base. So I'm just going to use my embossing. I'm sorry, my bone folder, tripping over my tongue tonight. There we go. And then I've already embossed. There's a kitty here. I've already embossed. So I want to hold that up so you can see the texture on that. So we've got some snow, or these are little stars maybe, or snow um, snowflakes. I'll hold those a little closer so you can see them. And then we've got greenery. So I thought that this would be great for a winter card. Okay. And then what I did was I took my ruler and I measured the inside of this space. Okay. And then what I did was I cut a piece of our cardstock to go there. And then I've got another smaller piece. So I'm creating a mat. I'm going to stamp on this white piece and then it's going to go here. And then we're going to add some snowflakes in amongst our greenery. Okay. Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are cozy and warm, that you've got a hot beverage. Winter is probably my least favorite time of the year. Um, I love Christmas, but I'm just not a huge winter fan, but I have been enjoying this week. Um, I've just been really tired and it's cold. And so we've been getting in our jammies and curling up in bed and just reading or, um, looking at magazines or looking on Pinterest and, 
Facebook, just enjoying being mellow, being still, not being busy. And it's been nice. All right, so I have just inked up my snowman in Tuxedo Black Memento ink. All right. So we have three different snowman images in this stamp set. And we're going to color with some stamping blends. You could use pumpkin pie. You could use pale papaya. Um, this is a dark pale papaya, so we'll color his nose with that. And it's just enough color. And then I pulled some pool party. And it's funny, I've got several pool party sets. We saw these in sets, a dark and a light. And when one of mine starts to go, because I use, I use them in my classes all the time, I don't throw them away because one end still works, but the other one might not work. Does that ever happen to you guys? And you just hold on to it because you don't want to waste it and you don't want to throw it away. All right, so I just colored the little stripes on his scarf. Okay. We could do the little buttons if we want. They're little rocks, but I'm just going to put a little shadow there. And then I think I'm just going to lightly color a little shadow here of the snow. Okay. And then how about we put a little bit of color on our snow so it just it pops i know that snow is not this color but sometimes snow has a hue to it when it is reflecting so we're just gonna and that way it, it pops we can see it better okay oh you know what let's do his little his little fuzz ball at the end here we'll do that so you don't really need a lot. You could do colored pencils. You could do pens. You could use Stampin', um, Stampin', let's, let's see, um, Stampin' Write Markers. You could use those. Lots of coloring options. I'm looking for a darker green to go on my tree. Let's see, maybe we'll do light evergreen. We'll do a little bit of Just so it has a little color. Maybe I should have done soft succulent, but it's okay. Okay. And that's going to be it. Super easy peasy. Super easy. You guys know I am all about easy. So I hope that as we're winding down this month, you have um, been able to just truly enjoy the season. I know that sometimes we just get so busy being busy and I, I feel like Christmas comes and, and then it's this big, huge letdown. You know, we wait all year for Christmas. I love Christmas. Um, just the festivities and the preparing I've been trying really hard this this year to just enjoy every day and not be stressed and not get too busy. Just trying to slow down and enjoy the whole month. All right, making sure that my card is opening the right direction. I, uh, I have been guilty of putting together a card and then realizing, oopsie, it opens the wrong way. How many of you have ever done that? I hope I'm not the only one. Okay. I think it'd be great to pull some um, Stampin' Dimensional, Dimensionals. I keep tripping on my tongue tonight. 
maybe it's because I feel like I'm out of practice. I haven't been live as often because I have um, been doing things with the kids. Going to soccer games and soccer practice. We are done for now until January after Christmas and then it picks back up again. All right, so I can see that there are several of you on right now. Thanks for joining me this evening. I always look forward to our time together. Okay, I popped that up. That looks really cute. And then we're going to sneak some of these um, snowflakes in. And I, when I cut this one out, um, it's so intricate. I ended up tearing this one right here. And I wanted to show that to you because on this type of card, I'm not going to show all of the snowflake. And so you could trim that off or you could just, you know, it's not going to show. And so it doesn't matter. Instead of wasting it, go ahead and use it because you're not going to see that part. I think I'm going to trim that little part piece off to make it easier to get in there and let's put a little bit of liquid glue on here. I already have inky fingers because I was playing before I got on with you guys. Oh, and I actually threw away some of my glue bottles um, because I'm tired of picking them up and I can't get the glue out. It always wants to be difficult when I go live. There we go. Let's see. Okay. Let's ease that in there. And we've got another one. I'm trying to decide where we're going to put that one. Maybe up here. So I should have put these down before I put my, my dimensionals on, but... You know me, I get started on my talking and I get distracted. Okay. So I was saying I'm done with Christmas cards and I, these are just going to be thinking of you, some winter birthday cards. Winter can be really hard on some people. Um, people have higher rates of depression during winter time. It's cold, it's dark, it can be lonely. And so I just want to have some encouraging cards on hand that don't look Christmassy that I can use to just send to a few people that might need a little lift. So snowmen, snowflakes, it's wintry. Doesn't have to be Christmas. And that's what I like about this stamp set is that I can get more use out of it. It doesn't have to just be for Christmas. Let's glue those little pieces down. When I buy stamp sets, I like to see all the different ways that I can use that stamp set. Will I be able to stretch it and get more usage out of it? All right, now let's grab some bling. Okay, you might hear my son. He's playing video games with some friends online. Getting all into his game. It's so funny to hear them, you know. Okay. I love these. Um, I forget what they're called. They're in our annual catalog, but they're um, 
iridescent. Let's grab a smaller one. Iridescent. I think they're blue. Ir um, blue. Iridescent gems. Something like that. We'll have to look it up. Okay. What more? Come on, work with me. So if you were with me last week, I shared that we were um, bringing in a cat from outdoors. And there's a whole nother story with that. Okay, now my center for this snowflake is under. So you know what I think I might do is just put a little sprinkling of a couple around it because I can't really put it in the center. So we'll just sprinkle a couple around it. Okay. That's pretty, pretty, pretty. Now I didn't put a sentiment on here because sometimes I I don't know what I'm going to use the card for. I can turn this into a birthday card. I can turn it into a thinking of you card. Um, so I'm going to leave that, but I could stamp the inside. Love you, friend. Happy birthday. Hello, you. Maybe I could stamp hello, you on there, but this is a pretty fancy card. I might, I don't know. I might want this to be a, Um, I don't know. It's a cute card, but it doesn't, I don't want it to be Christmassy. So I'll have to decide what kind of, um, what kind of occasion do I want that to be? You guys can think about it and let me know and we can add a sentiment in there. All right. Okay. Let me get started. I hope you guys like it. Do you like the card? All right, let's go on to our next card. All right, so this is a fun layout that you could use on anything. So even if you're not going to do snowmen, you can use this idea and adapt it. All right, I like Shelly's idea. Leave it and then add the sentiment on the inside. Okay, so this is Knight of Navy. And then I took our basic white and I used that evergreen embossing folder I showed you in the annual catalog. So we're going to adhere this. Beautiful pine trees. Makes me think of snow on the white. Okay, so I'm going to hold that up so you can see the texture. You guys see those trees? <laughs> yes, Allison is in Australia. What's your, um, what are your temperatures right now? Okay, so here's that. Beauty of the Earth paper. And what I ended up doing was I cut a strip. I think this was, yeah, three-fourths of an inch by four. And I cut three of them. And just look at the direction of your sprigs, I would guess. There's going to be some that's lighter and some that's darker. All right, and so I just cut those, and we're going to lay that on top, but you're still going to see some of the embossing over here on this side. Okay, so I kind of, I like this idea because I could use it with any designer series paper, any embossing folder. Take this concept and adapt it. Okay, so let's adhere these down. Now this is very textured, so you're going to want to make sure that you get enough adhesive on your designer series paper. So that it sticks. 
think I'm going to have to take my sweater off. Hubby turned the heater on up here. Woo! Now I'm feeling it. <laughs> Sharon, it's killing you because you can't comment as much. You're wrapping. That's what we're going to be doing this weekend. It's going to be a pajama weekend. I haven't had one of those in quite a while. I told my husband I'm staying in my jammies all day tomorrow. We're going to play Christmas music and I'm going to wrap gifts. I want to get that done and then just relax. Although knowing Percy, he might try and unwrap the Christmas gifts under the tree. He's already climbed the Christmas tree a few times. You would think he thought he was a kitten. <laughs> so back to my story with my my uh, cat that we were rescuing about a week ago. I gotta take my sweater off. Um, so I found this cat outside. She was, it, we've had a, a storm. We actually lost power. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. We lost power while I was at work with my fifth graders. No light, no electricity, no heat, um, you know, and classrooms are very much, uh, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? We're just centered around the internet and technology a lot. And so the kids couldn't use some of their programs on their computer. And I couldn't use my projector to project the assignment on the board and we're just sitting in the dark with no heat. And so that was quite fun. And uh, anyway, so this poor kitty cat is out in the rain and the wind and the cold. And of course, I felt sorry for her. So we brought her in the house. We've been keeping her in the bathroom for about a week. Um, we took her to the vet. We found out that she was chipped. And she's in, she, her owner was in a city that's about 40 minutes away from us. So the law here is if a cat has been chipped, what the vet, the veterinarian does is they call the number that's on file, try and contact the owner, and they have four days to claim the cat or dog. And if they don't, then whoever finds them, gets to keep them. And I'm like, oh, we already have four cats. So it's been five days. <laughs> and nobody's claimed this poor baby. We found out she was a girl. Um, she's been chipped. We don't know if she's been fixed yet. So hubby's taking her to the doctor on Monday. She's going to get... Uh, treated for fleas, treated for worms, treated for, I don't know what all, get her shots. We're going to find out if she's been fixed. And I guess I'm adopting another cat. Call me crazy. I know, right? Crazy cat lady. Okay, so... I just am too nice. That's the problem. I am too nice. All right. I have pulled my Balmy Blue Stamping Blends, and I am going to add some blue to these little snowballs that this cute little guy is juggling. Okay. And there's not a lot of coloring because snowmen are white. And then I'm going to color this carrot nose. And I'm going to use the darker balmy blue. And let's do his buttons. And maybe we'll just do his smile so it pops. And he's got blue cheeks because he's cold. Brr. And I'll do a little bit of shadow here on those lines. Okay, and then I'm just going to 
add a little bit of shadowing here on the bottom. It's funny because my husband fell in love with her. He likes the cat. He's like, honey, God knew that we would take care of her. He brought her to our yard. And I'm looking at him going, do I know you? Have you gone crazy? He's like, she purrs every time I go in the bathroom. I'm like, yeah, because she knows you're going to feed her. <laughs> What can I say? We like God's creatures. We take care of them if we can. Alrighty. Oh, I didn't put my little sentiment. I think I'm going to put, um, hello you. That will fit on here. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I need to put, um, Put it on another piece okay we're gonna pop that with some dimensionals so I've been uh, trying to pick a name out for her I like the name Sophie but my son is like no mom we're not naming her Sophie I'm like why not because it reminds me of somebody I don't want to be reminded of. I said, oh, really? <laughs> I haven't been able to pick out a name that everybody agrees on. I said, I found the cat, so I think I get to name her. Alrighty. Now... I think I can't really fit. I should have stamped it and then um, embossed it if I was smart. If I was thinking. I guess I'm going to put it on a strip of little scrap paper and then put it on there. Or again, I just put it on the inside. But let's put a little bit of sparkle on here so I love this ribbon but I will be honest I didn't always know how to use it because it's so wide what's this one called I can't remember because the back side came off but it's such fun ribbon so this is my little tip we don't always need such wide ribbon so what I've done is um I just cut a piece off, a little scrap, and then I just cut it to be the width I want. Okay. Oops. All right, so I've got a thinner piece there, not so wide, and it's a little bit easier to work with. And then I pulled some of this white, <clears throat> uh, what do you call it, iridescent ribbon. And I love this ribbon. Okay. And let's do some type of little knot. Let's see what that looks like instead of a bow. This could be a masculine card if I wanted it to be. I have a lot of winter birthdays in my family. I think I told you guys that. My husband is Christmas Day. My brother is the 28th of December. My dad is January 6th. I think that's still a little bit too big. So I'm going to trim it a little bit more. Let's not have it so long. Okay, let's see how that looks. All right. 
you can just made it a little tighter. You have to be careful with this um, silver one because if you pull it too tight I find like it just you don't get to see it very well because it's so such a thin <clears throat> ribbon. Let's see how we're going to do this. Oops. I like it on this side. It's not looking the way I want it to look. We also have silver tw um, twine you could put in here too. Or if we had blue, that would be pretty. All right, let me get a glue dot. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Now you could put some rhinestones on here. You could put some iridescent rhinestones on there. You could put also opal rounds on here as some of your snowballs that he's juggling. You could do that. I think my opal rounds are a little bit too big. I've used up some of the smaller ones. So let's see what else I have. Or I could just use the blue. Maybe we'll do the blue. No, I wanted something with a little more sparkle. Let's go. I'll pull some of the iridescent ones, the smaller ones. We'll just put maybe one there. And one here. And one there. Okay, so there's another card, doesn't have to be Christmas, that I could use for a birthday card. I can use for just an encouragement thinking of you card. You guys like that? I hope you like this idea, just using the strips and having some type of embossing. You can use that with any, um, any designer series paper, any embossing folder. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we're going to go with greens and some purple. We've got our fresh freesia here. Okay, so what I did was instead of taking my cardstock and cutting it uh, this way, so where you have two sheets and you fold it in half, instead I cut it down the long, the tall way, okay? And um, let me see if I have one that I can show you so I can, because I'm a visual learner. So here's one in the Fresh Freesia, okay? So I cut it down the center, then I scored it, in the middle and what I ended up doing was I cut three inches off of this piece okay I've done this card a few times in my classes all right then this is the brand new embossing folder the gingham I've embossed a piece that's going to go on the inside I'll hold that up so you guys can see it you see the gingham? It was quite a challenge to try and find paper that was wintry but not Christmassy. I was going through looking at all of our paper. I was actually surprised. There was quite a few pieces that would work. Okay, and then I cut another panel that's going to go on this piece with the same embossing folder. 
just cut it a quarter of an inch smaller for each piece that you're using. Make sure that it lines up with your other piece. Okay. All right. Then I took Fresh Freesia and I cut a nine by three and a quarter. And I scored it in the middle. Okay. So that piece is going to go here like this. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some adhesive on the back side. Oop, I think I need to refill that. Okay. Come on. There we go. Where did that cat hair come from? Although it's not going to show, but there we go. How embarrassing. All right, we're going to center this. I want a little bit of my white showing all the way around. And I want to make sure that the top and the bottom are straight. I don't know what this fun fold is called. I've done it several times in class. We did a baby card. We've done Christmas cards. We've done birthday cards. All right, now, I think this is gonna be a birthday card. I cut a piece of white for this part. And then that hand penned paper, I'm using the back side, the non flowery side. It just has little stripes. Okay. So we'll adhere these guys. And we'll put that on the front flap of our fresh freesia. All right, now. We're going to stamp our sentiment and some snowflakes for the inside. Now I'm going to have this be a birthday card. So it's going to say happy birthday. We don't really see another sentiment that goes with happy birthday. So I guess we'll just say happy birthday on the inside. I want to put it up a little bit higher because I like to write something personal on my birthday cards. And then let's grab some snowflakes. Now there's some cute little snowflakes that are in this set, these little guys. And I am going to use a snowman for the front. So we'll put some snowflakes on here. Maybe we'll put another little snowman on the inside. How about we'll do, we'll do the juggling snowman, but I'm not going to put all of it on. I think I'm just going to put his legs. Like that. And then we'll put a couple of snowflakes right there. All right. 
Maybe I should put a little color on there. Let's do a little color. So I said what I'm going to do this weekend. What are you guys going to do this weekend? Any big plans? I know Shelly was making fudge. I saw she made some fudge. It looked delicious. Anybody else going to be making or doing something special this weekend? I would like to play with some of my new stamps for my pre-order, but I don't think that's going to happen quite yet. I've got to get my wrapping done. Then I'll feel like I'm allowed to go play. I got to get my serious business done first. <laughs> All right. Don't glue it upside down. That would be bad. Now let's do our snowman on the end. Now I did this juggling guy. So we're going to do another snowman on the front. There's this guy. I don't know if I want to use that one or do I want to use this one. Can't fit all of this one on. I think this will not look as plain, but we're not going to fit the whole guy on there. And that's okay. When I first started stamping, I would never have done that. I would have said, oh, I have to fit the whole stamp on. And now I'm, I've, I guess, relaxed in my years of stamping. Here we go. And I think I'm going to have to see, I have to pull my fresh freesia and we'll add some fresh freesia on here too. So let's see. Let me pull my pens. We'll do the little fuzz ball. Okay. And we'll do the little shadow on the buttons. Let me get the nose. And I could add some fresh freesia. Let's do some, another little stripe in there to tie in that color. I'm not coloring the whole part in. I'm still leaving some of the white on some of it. Mm -hmm. I left off the little one right there. And let's do our little snowballs. So they show up. We'll do the shadowing down here. 
add a little bit of that color. And then our little tree. Cute. It's so cute. Do I want, I guess I could pop it. Logan's oh, screaming. It's so funny. They think it's like life or death playing a video game. <laughs> now, let me get a little scrap here. Let's see. And let's do... Hello, you... Oops, crooked. Not good. Try that one. I think I didn't put my sticker on very well on this one. Those rubber, oh my golly gracious. They're all crooked. Oh my golly gracious. Well, we're gonna have to make one of those work. Cause I've got to use all corners. Where's my trimmer? Hmm. And let's get our snips. We'll use a little cut. I think I want to make it a little thinner. It's a little too thick for my taste. Let's, but we'll see. We'll see if it works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it needs to get a little thinner. Just a tad. Just a tad. You do it right there. Let's put a dimensional right here. Let's put some snail there. And I'm going to cover up that one snow oh, snowball. It's okay though. That's cute. All right, we need a little bling. I think it still needs, like, we've got the snowballs, but I covered one up, so I'm going to try, I'm going to try really hard to maybe add in another snowball. Do you guys think I could do it? So I'm going to use a little Sharpie pen and add in a little another right there, maybe one right there, to kind of even it out. Now those look like they were supposed to be there. Okay. Hello, you. Happy birthday. Isn't that cute? Okay. So we've got this guy. We've got this guy. We've got this guy. And then I made one in our class last weekend that my ladies made. And I thought, well, I might as well show it to you. It has a lot of layers. Oop. 
This is the, um, the Sweet Peach Designer Series paper. Okay, so there's four cards using our little snowman. What do you guys think? I'll hold that one up so you can see. Just a bunch of layers. Okay, and it's popped up with some dimensionals. Just a little bit of black baker's twine. So cute, aren't they sweet? Very cute. I hope you liked it. Alrighty. These are going to go in my stash for winter birthdays or thinking of you, which we always need to have those on hand. And I think wintertime, we still need to be encouraging people. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for hopping on and joining me tonight. I hope you got some ideas on um, designer series paper that you can use. That's not Christmassy. And I just drew a blank. I will um, post directions on my Facebook page. I saw Donna's comment there. So I will post some directions for her on my page. I'll let you know the supplies I've used. And thanks for hopping on and joining me tonight, you guys. I hope you have a great weekend. All right. Okay. Bye-bye.